You know, God has deposited a lot inside of us. And so be creative. Make sure that you look around you and you storm in the body of this, my friend. I will take your phone. I won't get this. There's somebody crying in my office now. It's who was this? I thought you were playing games. And then I used to play in your back. So, you ensure that they are solving what? There is no discipline you are in that you cannot solve a problem. There is no discipline you are in you cannot make an app. I hope you get what I mean. Well, uh, 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 you don't have to be computer science. You can make an app. There was a week. I'm missing those days. I don't know what's happening. You know, we had a week here. And we saw all sorts. How, uh, we saw part of security. How you can have a gas cylinder that was on. I can't remember that that does not explode or something. You know, and different ways you can put something and you catch uh, your monitor, security. You know, they can do anything. You can do an app for sports, for gates, anything. By 2030, 70% of jobs will be computerized. Are you following me? By 2030. So those reading um, computer science and and the light, actually. And those of us who are not reading it, you see people now graduate, they go and do data, data science, data, data. Are you here? I know someone who is studying sociology. They spent one year learning data. And they're getting employed. So, solve a problem. That's all I want to say. Are you following me? Go to your room, if they're giving you a, a, a title. For those of you, what I decide with respect to communication, with respect to health, with respect to whatever. There's someone now who graduated, a young lady, she graduated, she has an NGO already taking care of mental health. She did not study psychology. Are you following me? She didn't study psychology. She's young, she's 24 so. And she already has, she has masters already, she already has a platform for um, she has something that she uses to help those that have mental challenges. Are you with me? And all that. So you you need to solve a problem. We are talking about Yahoo Yahoo. Is there anything you can do to help such people? So many things. However, you can solve a problem and you are not able to communicate. You are not able to write it properly. You are not able to package it properly. Are you following me? There is something called Innovate Research. And I want one of you to win that prize this year. We are the number one. Okay, we don't want to win it. We want someone to win Innovate Research. Something unique from your project. I know some of you have already started, but think of developing or doing something unique at the table to you. The other aspect is the way you write, the methods you use. We are from different disciplines. The method you use, introduction, chapter this, this one, literature review, we have people in humanities, we have people in science. So the way you write is very, very a lot of the things we read on our phone, people wrote them, am I correct? They wrote them. Whether on your phone, when I be lively or print lively, people wrote them. So you want to write in a way that is accepted. There are global standards now. There's what we call plagiarism. Plagiarism means copying people. I'm not supposed to copy people. So last session, I want to tell you, we did all of this. All the students had to pass their thesis through grammatical uh, check and then plagiarism check. It's a particular standard in graduates. I remember after graduation, somebody still came here for clearance because she could not uh, fulfill that requirement. Why? You are original. We're not punishing you. You can read materials, 
sweet document, sweet stuff, like the document that we say, and interpret it in your own way. Are you following me? Why can you think that preachers, ministers, they will take this Bible that we have been reading, isn't it? We read it and if they take any chapter, let's say Genesis chapter 1, and you bring 10 ministers to talk about it. Do they say the same thing? Do they say the same thing? So when you read stuff, when you read things, you can be original. You can read 10 things and then understand it your own way and put it your own words. The reason is that when you plagiarize, you are still. It is robbery, it's arm robbery. I'm serious. Now imagine you develop something and somebody goes to take it from you. Will you like it? Something you slept overnight, you work so hard, and somebody does more and takes it from you. That's what the generation is. Yes, the knowledge is there, but don't steal it. Use it, do not steal it. Does that make sense? Use that information, but do not what? Steal it. What are two of you doing? Huh? What are two of you I think so. Alright. So, they're going to teach you how to, you know, concept norms, hypotheses, all those kind of things. You write. You're writing will be publishable. Uh, we have a lot of wonderful experts here. Christmas is growing. We have a former VC here, Professor Nobacho. Can you appreciate him? <laughs> Somebody told me, oh, most of the books in mass for me has written. So if there's anyone that teach us how to write, it is who? So we are really blessed. He talks my husband though. So, yes. So he's a teacher of uh, many people. <laughs> so we are glad to have him and he's teach us how to write. So that's basically it. Then when you carry out the experiment, how you can write the introduction very well. When it now comes to discussing what they discovered, they find it difficult because we really require you to say it a lot in your own language. And then you people battling with it. You might see if there are 100 pages, you might see 60, 70 pages on, on introduction. It's children. When it comes to discussion, because discussion is you, it's you discussing your result, you might just see one page, two pages. That's to show how limited that person is. Are you with me? So once you're able to do your project in a way that we'll be proud of. And I want to tell I'm waiting for us to post our projects from last year. We are proud of them. They did well and want to do better. Did they not do well? Some of them. Some of them. But they all did the garrison check. Yeah, but. And, well, and some of them, all, all of them went to percentage. Yeah. Yes. I think we placed it at 30%. And they all met it. We forced them to meet it. So it's good to start learning it now. So on that note, I want to appreciate the organizers as well as those that will give talks. Professor Akim Bogola, maybe we come in later, Professor Novacho. She's always, always there. Dr. Ayedo, Dr. Ayedo is very good with uh, analysis. And then tomorrow, Professor Adegoke and so on. But I want to say something. Christian is working out a memorandum of understanding with Lenbridge University in Canada. So they'll be talking to you today or tomorrow from Canada. If I am you, I'll just come and sit like this. There are opportunities for every one of you here to study in Canada. Are you with me? They are going to teach us about data analysis. They told us we form a little unit of data analysis and we use, need some of the students to even volunteer there. So you don't have to go outside to do your data analysis. So they're going to build that capacity for, for us using you. 
And then one of you that makes a first class, I've forgotten the percentage, who was there? Um, first class, this is um, final CDP, the last point is five, right? Um, I don't know what a seven percent is of it. Anyone that makes or that is seven percent, maybe four point five, I don't know. Is it four point eight? Okay, let's just say boss last is a chance of getting out of this. Are you with me? But if you make four point eight, so are you just it's 87. Yeah, 4.8. Yes. All right. So I don't know where you are at the at that time. But anyway, if you have anything close to that, automatic scholarship. So we are we are working on that time for you with you with them. One of them is already teaching here now about virtual. So we will talk to you virtual. So listen very well. Ask questions. Sound. You can study in Canada free or Chat. It's very possible for well, this uh, arrangement to have with them. Also, uh, if you don't get scholarship, you can have opportunity to get what you call teaching assistance. I know a lot of people want to go to Canada this day. So it's an opportunity for you to wear. Well. Are you with me? And all that. So they will speak to you. Speak to you tomorrow. Tomorrow. Okay. Tomorrow. All right. So we have the package for you. Enjoy and God bless you. Encourage us, encourage us. Don't distract. Listen very well. Don't play with your phone, please. We are not taking your Thank phone. Thank you. Um, you are very lucky that you decide to overlook your phone with you, and then can consider yourself lucky. So can we please do that? <laughs> That's why I said you consider yourself lucky.
Somebody, I was saying something the other time. Somebody was telling me, what did I say? When I said, why we should have the WhatsApp group for the different, for this uh, project uh, writing. So if you like listening, if you don't, but we are going to take it seriously. The, the, the result from this will be sent to your department and then whatever you say can you decide on that. So, uh, you want to come up with the wife? Yes, they are different. Okay, so, can you get the together for Professor on the on the Yes, I thank you for this opportunity. I thank you because I can do nothing except by your divine grace and mercy. Thank you, Father, because wisdom, knowledge, and intellect belong to you. Grant me all this in the name of Jesus, that at the end you can all have cause to bring back the Holy Name. Help your children to keep away from all distractions. In Jesus' name, I pray. Now, first of all, I want to thank the organizers. For the organizers, the motivator has been the vice chancellor. Now, we are grateful for your tenure uh, and for your motherly uh, and for wanting to take this university uh, to the top. Um, I, had, I had some of her speak, <coughs> and I would have said that she has said everything. But then, there are still things to say. I'm not about this situation where I would have been asked to take you through all the chapter one to chapter five, uh, what you are expected to do. Um, in this city, in the university where I came from, I was taking research all through from uh, undergraduate to master's to PhD. At Kelly University, I teach uh, research, the master's, and PhD. Now, there are so many things that you do not know. Uh, it's not because you don't want to know them, but you have not been privileged to know them. The first is with the teachers of research. They, they don't know how to teach research because also they were not properly taught. So, so you don't give what you don't have. Uh, I don't know whether I will be asked, I will be permitted to digress a bit from uh, what I really have because uh, my own subject of this of discourse is uh, ethics in research. The research project begins. Uh, and I think before you come to that, that's so many that you have to know before you begin to talk about the guarantee. Now, I also want to put on record, and this is one of the very few places that uh, a university is putting forward this kind of program uh, for 300 level, 400 level students to be able to appreciate uh, what research is all about. Uh, and I want to give kudos to the Vice Chancellor again for arranging this. Now, what do we call research itself um, to search? Uh, it's a J, uh, means in French, means to search. What are you searching for? Many of us do research without knowing that we do research. You want to buy a dress, what kind of dress? For what occasion? Where do you want to uh, wear the dress to? Where will you get the dress you want? You have to do some investigation, right? You talk to people, talk to friends, talk to colleagues before you know what you want to buy. This go for shoes. This go for makeup and makeup kit. Everything you want to buy, you must embark on research. 
Now, the first dilemma with students is to cover a research topic. It's a dilemma. Because people will just sit down and count the topic. And the end of the day, the topic is unresearchable. And sometimes you get to the end of the project before you know that you have you been struggling with this research. And at the end of the day, uh, there's nothing to write home about. Now, before you can embark on a research, you have to identify a problem. A problem, not problems. Because sometimes so, all the problems you are facing, you won't fail soon. If you do that, what will others do? So, you have to identify a problem. Now, as you understand the problem, if you don't talk to colleagues, if you don't talk to your lecturers, if you don't talk to uh, experts in your field, if you don't look at what other people have done, you see, those projects that are in the library are not just there for the correction. Any research, there is a particular part in chapter 5. It says recommendations for further studies. Recommendation for further studies. That is, the researcher is saying, I can't do everything. So, but for those who want to follow after my full steps, these are the suggestions of areas. You can embark upon one, two, three. If I ever have up to five suggestions, you can give me of any of these suggestions if it meets your own aspirations. That is, some people have identified problems that you may want to key into. And at the end of your recital, you're going to have suggestions for further study because there is no way to discover that you cannot see everything. And therefore, you're going to uh, ask others after you to continue where you have stopped. Are you following? Now, before you can have a topic, you must have a problem. What is the problem? And let's look at the situation we have now. What problems do Nigeria have now? Problems of security. Okay? Yes, that's one. What other problems? Inflation. the problem? How do you express the problem? How do you state the problem? Now, you may want to say the problem being investigated is to find out whether our politicians have been responsible for the problem of security in Nigeria. We want to find out whether it has been the politicians for that we have insecurity in the country. That is the statement of the problem. We want to investigate. Now, when you look at the chapter one of your work, <coughs> The first thing is plan to the story. Plan to the story. That is, what has motivated you for wanting to embark on this particular story? 
Is it as a result of the son of police? Is it as a result of having read some journal articles or having read newspapers? Or you are sensitive to what is going on around you? Is what has motivated you to want to embark on this story? Now don't forget that even when you are expressing what has motivated you, you have to cite authorities. You understand? When I say cite authorities, now I'm, I'm in a teaching class now. Cite authorities, what do I mean?
in Pakistan also, although you are the Sata, the Sata becomes a participant. Are we still flowing? Are we still there? Okay? Now, these are questions. Not less than four percent questions. And don't forget that the side questions are an expression of three variables dependent and independent variables. Are you talking variables in class? Variables? Now, let me give you an example of a variable. But now when you talk about a height that is memory, you know the height is memory, it can be six feet, four, five, six, whatever. That's a variable. Age, you know can talk about T25, infinity, that's also a variable. The length is also a variable, something that you can express and compare to variables, dependent or independent. At least there must be one dependent and one independent when you are talking of variables. Now, for research questions, you have research hypothesis. Now, what are research hypothesis? It is an expression of what will happen between two variables in a statement form. One is a sad question, and sad question is a question form. Will this happen? Will um, uh, the students of uh, Christland University always protest for food? That is, is your problem too. Okay? Now, is food a common problem in all Nigerian universities? This. I don't see the university where you know for food. Probably the only one is American University of Yuna, they have to pay dollars. Public works. So, and I think that in minds, even the food you eat in your house, sometimes it's worse off than the food you sell here. You don't like that statement. Many of you don't know how to cook. So, what are you talking about? And I said, of what is for you, I eat your food every day. So, I know what I'm talking about. It, it may be a little bit heavy. But then, what is not expensive is this. But then, the university is like a camp, a four years camp, in which if you do what is needful, you do it and get out. I know I will still have a time, a, a time to talk to you about how to market your university. That's for another time. Because there are so many things you don't know. Many of you say, I will not come back. I am not even going to recommend you. I am saying, you are destroying yourself and you are destroying your sanity. If you sell your sanitation, nobody will help to sell it for you. If you say you are, what you have studied or what the university you have been to is not a good university, then you are not a good product. Then your certificate is also not good. But you don't understand this thing. Have been to universities 
private, in fact, we university have I not been to? Private, Covenant, Bangkok, Bowen, Redeemers, and the Indra, Big City, and Southwest and University, that's another world. <laughs> You will never want to go to that one. Now, Brussels and not the rest. And without missing words, I say this is one of the best. Whether you clap or not, I say this is one of the best. You see, you have things, you are not strength of. Nobody is harassing you, except you decide to harass people. Nobody will harass them to harass people because it's not allow you to wear dresses that you harass. You have a head of the institution who cares who is a mother and who is a listener. You have excellent teachers. And more are still coming. If you market your institution and there are more students, there will be so many things this university will do for you and do for the institution that it will become a top of the town. Even now, this university has become the top of the town. You don't believe me. Well, if you don't believe me, I believe myself. This place is neat and key. Neat and key. And the students are well paid. Clap for yourself. That is a product of research. What I'm saying is a product of research. I've done my investigation and I see that this is just how it is. Now let's go back to research I protest. That is what you have expressed the question for me. You are not sticking out your neck to express a statement that this is going to happen. The question will say, this may not likely happen. And the protest will say, this is going to happen. You are sticking out your neck. Not every research requires an hypothesis. For quantitative study, you may require a hypothesis, especially people that are in economics and um, what other that are mathematical They may be leading for the But most of the other people will probably be leading for the quantitative study, which we are only going to express in questions. I get it. Even in hypothesis, the hypothesis, we have declarative hypothesis and we have non hypothesis. Now, when we say declarative hypothesis, we say if something is likely to happen if we do this. Now, a non-hypothesis is expressed in the legacy. This thing, this thing is not likely to happen. Now, let's imagine you have a situation where you are Express in five hypotheses that this thing will happen and it does not happen. You begin to prove your result so that it may happen. But when you say it is not like and if it doesn't happen, you are good. If it happens, you are good. So people prefer inside to use the non hypothesis. If you have an objective of study, there must be significance of study. Significance simply means 
the importance of your study to people, to a group of people, or the beneficiary of what you are studying. If your study is well, it's good. Some, and you are studying about the, you are studying a company, for example, the company they buy into what? Into your result. Because you have you found out interesting things that probably they never told about. Who are the beneficiaries of your result, of your findings? And that is the significance of story. Scope. Because every study has a scope. For example, if you are doing a study at Christian University, who constitute the components of Christian University, for example, I mentioned some of the components of the number of people that are that constitute Christian University. One, students, yes, two, staff, and even in staff. There's academic and non academic. Now, if you have postgraduate, postgraduate students will also be here. Yeah? Are you getting it? Now, even in Christian University, we even talk about parents, parents of students. They are also part of us. Now, if you now say scope of study, it means your study is restricted to only students. And when you have students, I you saying all levels of students from under level, to under level, to under level? Or your study will only embrace hundred level students. For example, we have a study that we will also do here before John you have a uh, 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 question here. That is, what address your calling here? Who influenced your calling to Krishna University? Did you see an advance? Where did you see them? Newspapers? On television, which television? On social media, or a friend introduced this university to you, or your parents told you about this university. We would like to know. So we have a marketing. One thing I know. I hope you are not giving me time because I want people to start my day. Now, uh, Vice Chancellor, I want to appeal uh -huh. because I want people to start what you are going to do. Yes. But these are the basics that you must first know before I even begin to talk about plagiarism. But if you don't know the basics, what I do to realize it? Now, I was, when I looked at your uh, timetable or whatever your allocation, I didn't see something like this that will take the students to the disagreement of what is called inside. Okay, uh, I'll just run over that and then maybe create another opportunity to talk to you again. Because it's not something you can finish in one as well school. Now, why you don't have scope? Simply means that I'm receiving my study to hundred level, to four hundred level, to all. Or if your study is about women, how much of makeup do female students of Christian University apply to themselves? Now, that's scope of study. Does it concern boys? Does it concern men? So that's what it's for. 
So that nobody will say, ah, you, are, you are supposed to have covered this, or you are supposed to have talked to this. Once you take your school, you have expressed your limitation. And then, the definition of terms are terms that may likely confuse your reader if they are not properly explained or defined. For example, if they are talking with a study on use, is use, who are use? My mother said I'm a use, that's what she said before she died. Uh, and I believe I'm a use because she said so. Now, you are doing a study on use. Are you following the next word that says youth is between 18 and 25? Or are you following my church and, and that says youth is between 18 and 40? Not defined. To you, or according to an authority that says youth is between is a bracket. You have chapter 2 that is crucial. It's about theories, theoretical framework and literature review. Theoretical framework and literature review. Every work, every research must be backed by at least two theories. At least two theories that were examined. At the end of the day, you may discount those theories or you may have some theories. That's academic. You find that those theories have been their discipline and there is a need for some other theories. Now, there is a little review. Aha! And that's where my own subject comes in about plagiarism. This is a story of reality. But then, you see, we talk by the hall. And thus, we start a project place. You said that by 300 level second semester, everybody must have this project topics approved. So by the time they go for Long vacation, they are communicating with their supervisors, and by the time they are coming, they are free with chapter 1, 2, 3, and they are already able to win. Uh, uh, they are doing shit, they are starting to do it. So that by first semester, when you come back, doing just the final thing to your supervisor, end of first semester, you are free. Started. I have somebody that I have not even seen. <laughs> and I say it is not compulsory that the person graduates with others. You know it's not. Because if you don't do your project, you cannot, you cannot graduate. So it's a it's a it's a, a cost system and everybody can graduate when they like. It's your money, not my money. Now, as researchers, you must, once you know the problem you want to solve, you must get of time, whether you are sick or supervisor, or whether your supervisor is available or not, you must begin to read literature around your subject area. And when you read, you make judgments about important things you want to include in your research. And when you are making these judgments, the author is critical, you want to learn the author, the date, the date of not the, not the date of battle, <laughs> the date the you are putting, you put it there. The page number of the book or journal as a group, you put it there. And you continue doing that, with that annotation in all your readings before you now come back to begin to assemble. Now, the 
See, God is like patient. And because we want to say, God is in, God is in, God is out. What have we not seen about Moses? So people should go as far as far as to come and to come and take Moses, and then go is bound. And forget some things about Bauchi. And so we now have to get to see Bauchi and you are in Christian. You get to see. <laughs> that is plagiarism at the highest order and to be jailed. Jail, that is the punishment for that kind of plagiarism. To be, to be sent to prison. Mm-hmm. And if you escape graduating and we discover your certificate will be withdrawn. That is what is called plagiarism. It is an aesthetic rascality. For somebody to draw as if I draw in my first book. Draw in my first book without my permission is stealing. And I can take you to court. Two weeks ago, students from a uh, master student from Olam Sholopanto came for my book, and the book was not available. And I gave them a and to do a photocopy. You can't do a photocopy of my work. Without my permission, I get you. I can take you to court. And you sentence to some years in a prison. Okay. So, what means that? And to read to God to provide all those information. And it's always advisable because for you not to read your rights, you must learn what is called summary. Summary. First, you want to incorporate something into your uh, work, you first read it. Then you summarize. You know, the unfortunate thing is that many of you did not do summary in school. You just did objective. A, B, C, D, or A. A, or B, or C, or D, or E. Summary is to just capture the essence of what is there in your own words. And in your own structure. The person uses paragraph and you put paragraph. The person uses that is the reality. Because you are not expressing in your own words and your own format. It's because you don't know. Now that you know, it is an offense. And that's why projects are not something you do in one semester. Once you start second semester, you don't know. And instead of playing around and going to practice in semester and in your uh, holiday summer, you use all those things to gather data. And you can see some of that don't think is you have the brain to do it. But now you know that it's not as simple. You are going to you have see you must side people. At your level, you must side authority. So that we know that we know it's not your work, but you have summarized the person's work and you are quoting the original source. Now, one lecturer was presenting a note to his students in Vila. According to this, according to this, according to this, every line was according to, according to, and one student said, let us say, sir, what of the one of you according to you? Which one is according to you? And that means you cannot be according, 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 according. Without expressing yourself. You are expressing yourself, and that's why you are summarizing. But that's not to say you can quote verbatim in some complex situation where you don't want to be associated with that. What, person, what that person is done. If, for example, you read somewhere that 
Why is it three person? And you express it without quoting it. And then put the person that said so. Even if you are arrested, your punishment will relieve you. <laughs> because that's what you call social responsibility. In penalty, somebody said so. That's a great word, but don't use it. But if you must use something that is delicate and whatever, put a quote. A quote means it's not new. But what I have got assumed responsibility for the summary. Are we getting it? So let me quickly now run through my 11 page thesis. I said, let me run through now, research ethics provide guidelines for the responsible conduct of research in any case and monitor scientists who are conducting research to ensure a high ethical standard. Ethics means moral. Now, high ethical standards. And I say some ethical principles include the following. We want to take this down. Ethical principles include honesty. Be honest about what you are writing. If it's not you, say it's not you. Two, objectivity. You know, objectivity is saying things as they are, citing truths and facts. Integrity. You may be a 400 level student, but have integrity. Because there are so many people that are not the 400 level. And they are going to go beyond that. And so you want to destroy your integrity now. Four is carefulness. Five is openness. Six is respect for intellectual property. What you mean, respect for intellectual property, is that intellectual property are products of people. And you must not steal what they have done without referring to them. What they have done is an intellectual property which they have an exclusive right and you can have paid them for it. So, you must have respect for intellectual property. They are not a charity. Your respondents may give you, may answer your questionnaire and they don't want to be quoted. So, or the interview them, to their interview, and they don't want you to say this is what they said. So you want to have the part respect for confidentiality, then responsible publication. Now it's published in order to advance to such as scholarship, not to advance just your own career. Avoid and communicating publication. Now there are people I was trying to appraise somebody for profession. And I saw one work translated into six journal articles. And he was writing basically the same thing and trying to fool himself. I just took one of them, one of the six, and his countenance the other but don't continue to repeat yourself. Okay? There's responsible mentoring. Uh, that is for staff. For staff, um, Dr. Tola, I'm looking at an opportunity to address staff uh, sometimes. Okay? Responsible mentoring, help to educate, mentor, and advise students. Promote their welfare and allow them to make their own decision. Don't force your, if you are supervising somebody as a lecturer, don't force your own thoughts on that person. You can help to shape it his thoughts. Say, is this what you are saying? Is this what you want to talk about? So that the person will get to a own conclusion without you. Asking him to do your own speech. Know and obey relevant laws and institutional.
national and government policies. Now, what is the importance of research ethics? Now, research ethics is just to govern the way we do research so that we are morally right and we don't infringe on laws so that we don't find ourselves behind bars. So, this that because this is somebody's property. And if anybody does, we have a right to take that person to court. So, ethics are important for a number of reasons. One, they promote the aims of research, such as expanding knowledge. Research helps to expand knowledge. Two, they support the values required for collaborative work, such as mutual respect and fairness. This is essential because the research depends on collaboration between researchers and groups. And uh, sometimes research is not done by just one person, uh, not at the undergraduate uh, level. But later, when you become a researcher, you are going to find out that two or three of you can pull resources together and do one research. And you could ask for grant to be able to do that is so that everybody is bringing something into the research. But whatever you are bringing must be documented so that we know whether you are the lead author or you are the sub author and you are the material. But then there is a practice among academics. Drop my back and you do your project, you do your, your, you do your research. You put my name without having anything to do with it. I do my own. I put your name. And so, <laughs> that is academic fraud. <laughs> and people should be jailed. And so, you have somebody having 20 papers. We are asked, maybe you put it one plus two. People are being friends. Hey, all right. Put his name. Put his name. Put his name. And he has so many already. He has so many publications. And we have some call to tell the scholar. It's a thing. The same scholar. So so avoid that there's what you call any kind of pillar in the sun. But dilemma, it is almost a situation of helplessness. How can you avoid this situation of helplessness? One, it's called intellectual property friendly. See, what part of you is to discuss? That's the part of you to discuss with your colleagues. Instead of gossiping, discuss with your supervisor. Discuss with your lecturers. Discuss with people that are not that know they are experts in those in you mishandle with intellectual property. You may find yourself in trouble. There are two is the cultures of multiple roles that concerns lecturers. Multiple roles. It's a lecturer, it's a researcher, it's a student supervisor, it's a student teacher. So it has so many rules. Now sometimes students are forced to do teachers, lecturers, research. Without giving credit. Now, if that work is made on the students' work, then the student is the best author. There's nothing wrong if a lecturer decides to collaborate with you. Because it's meant on it, that's meant on it. But in more, there must not be intellectual falsification. It's your work, it can get you. When it's presented a paper, you are number one. Then it becomes number two. I don't know if you see this, it's made to uh, in book, but then it must be appointed to write a paper. Because in future, you will need that attitude where you become a lecturer like us. How many of us want to become lecturers? 
Raise up your hand if you want to become a lecturer. So what do you want to become? Uh, you don't want to be a Now, I don't blame you because I was like you. In my 400 level, I swore to God that I will never read a book again. And God was smiling and enjoying himself. <laughs> And a prophet, I met a prophet, that you might go to a great prophet who has been prophet. He said, thank you, man, you are tired of reading. I said, yes. He said, you will read and they tell you and you will not stop. And I'm still reading. I'm still reading. Last night, I was still reading. So, and I said, whatever you want to do, be a fashion designer, be a trader, be a visitor to Dubai to get your first degree, to come back for your master's, go for being. And when you are training, if you like, in any shoes, if you like, between Nepal, uh, at the point in time, you will come back to academic training, but tired of all those things. But the first time, says, they will be back to Japan. So, and I said, we will soon start master. For me, right? And when we start, we will come back here. And those of you that are saying, ah, this land. And my son, when I told him, is he from back up? And I said, go back up to my master's in He said, no, I don't like back up. I want to go to Covenant. He went to Covenant and they showed him okay? <laughs> where? And he cried. Daddy, they are frustrated. I said, did I not tell you? Because here you know, even you know, it's better than the same. You don't know. And here, look, you can come with me to my office when I'm eating. You know, this generation, they don't even understand that you are eating. They will want to be sure I have to my food. I said, what can I do for you? Because we don't allow you to rest. But how many universities will do that? They will put on their door. You can only see them once in a week at 4 to 5 p.m. We don't do that here. And that's the advantage of coming back to your home where you can ask questions, where you can follow the Now, follow the informed concept rules. There are concept rules in the research, uh, which will be learned about you them. Now, Respect of legality and privacy. Okay. Now, what is legality? Uh -huh. It's a term used to describe a practice that involves knowingly taking. Knowingly taking. Like knowingly stealing your brother's uh, meat in the pot of soup. Knowingly taking and using another person's work. And claiming it directly or indirectly as a whole. Now, in many countries of the world, the government is taking very seriously, both legally and ethically, and can lead to this kind of action such as expulsion from the university or also being charged to court. And that is very true for business for so many years. If you take a rest and you are caught, it will damage your reputation and credibility as a scholar. The government can intend can be intentional downloading. Uh -huh. Intentional downloading online. Or uh, unintentional, that is, in properly citing the source in the paper or using others' words without giving it. Hey, talking about that. So the purpose of regarding include the following. Something in somebody's work as one school, and I give that them. Something was like right there for someone else without getting credit and failing to put a quotation in quotation marks. Giving incorrect information, changing words, but copying the sentence structure of the source without giving credit. 
or probably so many words are here to resolve that the case, the majority of the war, whether to be friendly or not. If you look at the page, somebody's work is three quarters of the page. That's brilliant. That is, if all is work, go get it. And you give him pennies. No, it's the kind of plan to work in your own words. Okay, so, now, what may not be tempted to ask? Whether well, you see the ideas of others is a problem. It is not. However, it is pertinent to note that scholarship is a conversation in which we are expected to read, analyze, and respond to the ideas of others when writing your paper. In order not to perceive as if you are writing, you will not cite your sources. This can be you are doing the following. That's when you are doing your literature, you are writing the literature, you are going through your, uh, so many books. Take good notes. That's the best. As you are reading and whatever, take good notes. Do cite correctly. Three use quotes in sentences and four paraphrase correctly. Now, what are the consequences of the journey? Consequences. The guiding affects others. Because when you play somebody's work, it's your own. Oh, once you decide his own work again, you will decide him. And that's the problem. Okay? The guiding swindles readers. The guiding swindles readers. That is, the guiding threatens the foundations of knowledge and destroys the need to pass knowledge by refusing readers access to sources. Three, the guardian infringes all of people's rights. Four, the guardian induces pointless research. Five, the guardian defrauds the system. Six, the guardian encourages sloppy research. Seven, it was a means with a scientific journal between the guardians of athletic knowledge. Eight, the garden brings out the worst in people. Because once you begin to see, you want to see. Huh. Nine, the garden comes a criminal establishment. If, for example, they do check up, the uh, uh, garden check up, and we cover four of our lecturers and we are right, then we are just learning to be brought into the center. So, we can destroy and Fighting the garden is expensive. Now there has to be a software, a software quality that you get, and then you check whether the lecturers will go to publishing, whether school students or schools are papers, not papers, they will go to uh, quality. So how do you avoid the garden? Uh, keep track of your sources. As you are recording, keep track of those sources you are quoting and quote them uh, correctly. Quote and paraphrase. As you are quoting, also paraphrasing uh, what quote is for instance, paraphrase, based on it. Three, cite the original source. Uh, and then the plagiarism checker. There are some people who know how to use the plagiarism checker so that when they expose their work to the checker, and you see that, ah, uh, they are they are right to think of 70 percent. Uh, uh, you go back and look at their sources again and see whether there are uh, paragraphs that you not summarize, whether there are conditions that are not properly quoted, and whether there are sources that are not properly Thank you for this.
They don't just feed you and I find someone talk about egg. And you saw just say egg has eyes and all this. Without talking about what it does and what other things that make up the egg and uh, what they do. So uh, I learned that from from so it started from the general and egg and the specific. And for that I think it serves a rank. Okay, that's it. So I can't get it. Because it's still confusing. 
confuses me. But part of what it is in you standing up and sitting down is you allowing the blood to flow again so that the blood can go into your brain so you are going to not yawn too much and get some activity going. Again, this is going to be quite short, but I hope impactful. The other thing I have asked you the few times that you are around when I talk is make it important that you get one thing out of this. Even in terms of what I want to talk about, some of you are already pretty good in starting and finishing. There are some of you know, definitely. But even for those who are pretty good in starting and finishing, we know they are not yet perfect. So that I'm hoping that you are going to look at it and say, what's one additional thing I can add so that I can make sure I finish and I finish well. One thing we know is that the chances are that all of you will finish. But you can finish totally, completely tired and stressed out and not want to touch another book forever. Or you can finish in good time like the sprint. You know, there are different sprinters. The sprinters are get to be there that just throw the power. <laughs> they are half dead. And the sprinters that get there and they're still able to walk, they are tired, but they're still able to walk. So that the focus is on how can I get to the end without totally, completely making everybody and myself crazy. We've had that for two years. That's why I also appreciate this workshop. That the first year, we were all three quarter crazy, as well as the students, in terms of trying to move them to the end. Last year was even worse. We were 99% crazy, all everybody, and that is because they did not do um, their sprint in a way in which they are not going to be that tired. First and foremost, the other thing I'll start off with, for many people, they can say, ah, that project, it's six units. So it's a huge um, part of your work. Six units is a lot. So that in itself sometimes creates anxiety for us, you know. And imagine that if I have six units and I make an A, that's wonderful. Because that will boost your CGPA no matter what. Or I have six units and I make a C or D. That's terrible. Because it's going to bring down your CGPA. So I know it's not unusual that some of you be experiencing some amount of anxiety. Like the person Prof just said, he has not even or she has not even started. Sometimes part of that is the anxiety of, and if you don't start, the time is still going to keep rolling. So first and foremost, I want you to be aware of your own anxiety around it, you know, and note it. Part of what you want to do is not to sink into it, but be aware of it and note it, and that that's okay. Thank you. Everybody here, it doesn't matter what, has completed something successfully. So, it means you can complete things successfully. They think you failed it, that's fine. But right now, in this moment, something that you've done and you've completed successfully. So that that again can help with the anxiety that, ah, ah, but it's me that did that and I completed it successfully. So even this one too, people who have done it, they didn't have two heads. They had one head just like you. So this one also, I'm going to complete successfully. There's no way you can be where you are at now that you haven't completed anything successfully. So I want you to remind yourself of you in that position so that you can gain some strength and some amount of confidence that this too, I can be about it and complete successfully. The other thing I want you to be aware of is that during this time, you are also learning to be your own cheerleader. And what I mean by your own cheerleader is that you are the one going to also pet yourself up. It becomes important. Um, 
Doctor Akiola had said something about people who started like their masters and not finished. Like I said, I know you will finish because the school will not allow you not to finish. Your parents will not allow you. You just want you to finish well. You have all done resolutions and did not complete, you know, did not follow through. So part of the thing is, how am I going to follow through and do well? So I'm saying the other thing I want you to help is to be your own cheerleader. Remind yourself that I know I can because you have succeeded in something before. So you can. There's no if buts or maybe about it. I know I can. The second thing is something that even Prof said, which is always very important. Know that I'm plugging myself into the great I am, into Jehovah, into the God that you know has it all. So that even when I think I can't do it by my own power, because I'm plugging myself into that, I know I will finish and finish well. That's part of me learning to lift myself up, okay? So all of this is just background stuff that I want you to remember, you know, in terms of helping yourself. So now let's quickly go on and say, what have we learned about those who finish and finish well? Most of the slide is going to focus on one thing, but then the second one is going to give you all the other stuff. It's very practical. your goals. You have to write down your goals. It feels like it's a lot of work, but believe me, we have found over and over again that when you write down your goals, you actually have a much, much higher chance of finishing at the point in time or close to it when your goals written out. that goals tend to motivate. They are self-motivators. They help us achieve success. Generally, research has shown that men tend to do this better than women. But that research says that doesn't mean anything. You don't have to consult with women and say that in terms of getting themselves up per se. Because research, as you know, is just a point in time. It does not have to be here, but this is supposed to be here that I, I will also write this my goals. You know, so that writing it down, having a very vivid, a very vivid idea of okay, these are the things. At the end, I'll show you a little bit of what it looks like when you write your goals regarding your project, you know, in terms of what you need to do and what you need not to do, per se, writing it out there, so that you want to be able to vividly capture it, see it, feel it. In fact, each morning after your devotion, looking at the goals you've written for the day regarding your project, you know, and then at the end of the day, the ones you can now check off. I've done this, I've done this, I've done this. Align yourself, of course, along the way to make adjustments. You know, there's no issues about that. But the key thing is learning to know that it's important. Initially, it feels like a waste of time, but it actually is very, very important for us to physically write down those goals. Some of what we found out about writing goals you know, and putting it down on paper. Is that the neuroscientific research showing that 
they cannot act on all of them. So that in getting all of this information, it has to make some decisions about what it's going to store and what it's going to discard. And part of what times we find that we have a better memory for things to generate better than things we read. And when you are writing your goals, you are generating it that I will do this this, I'll do this here, I'll do this here. You know, so in fact you are doing double whammy. One and generating it. Secondly, I'm also writing it. So that it sort of sticks and that part of why it becomes a motivator. And it's something there I can see that can help me in all these other ways, in terms of helping me to strategize in a way that will work for me. Again, in terms of your goal, in terms of your goal, it's important for you to review it regularly, and you find that it's also going to help guide your daily action. So part of what, remember I had asked you, think about what you've done in the past that you succeeded in. In this instance, when you write that goal, what you're doing is you're projecting into the future. And you're projecting success for yourself into the future. So that you can look at the past, what I can do well in, but when I write, I am finding myself also projecting into the future. You all might have heard about this acronym before. So when I'm saying write your goals, we know that there's a smart way of writing goals. And as you can see, the smart S-M-A-R-T is part of what helps you with the goals that you're writing. So one, the goal needs to be specific. So say I will complete chapter one. You know, in two weeks, so maybe I'll complete chapter one, um, and then I will go on to chapter two, you know, and then I will complete chapter three. That is not specific. So that we want you in writing those goals to be quite specific, that your goal should be measurable. Completing chapter one is measurable, but in terms of getting to that point, is not specific. Your goal should be attaining, attainable. Okay? So, somebody will say, well, my, I'll complete my, uh, this, uh, you know, my long-term project. That, that is very stable. That's very fluid. You know, uh, when? How am I going to achieve it? Your goal has to be realistic and also time-bound. So, that's where the SMART comes from. Again, um, so at least to reduce the repetition, I will go back into showing you part of what to do in terms of being quite specific about your goals. You want there to be that time bound around it. You want it to be attainable. You don't want to set yourself up to fail. Because if you keep on not meeting the goal, that becomes depressing. So you want it to be an attainable goal the way you're reaching it. You know the time period you have. You also want to be realistic about the way you read and the sort of person that you are. But somebody might say, I'll complete um, six in, you know, of this book at this time. It doesn't mean that the other person who can do six chapters at that time. The other person who can be realistic by now bringing down to um, three chapters at that particular time. 
you know, okay? So, C and C, because it's so important, I'm still stressing that the importance of the goals and writing it down. Don't keep it in your head. Your head cannot remember all of those things. That's why you're saying, oh my God, I forgot. So, please don't keep it in your head. Secondly, the importance of breaking it down, making it into small, achievable uh, portions. Then very important, take amongst yourself, have what you call your own accountability partner, so that someone else that can say, how far are you going with that? I have reached this goal, I have reached that goal. There are times when you may fall off, but we are encouraging that the other thing you want to do is to keep going, you know, so that when you fall off, sometimes I can just smack myself, you know, because in that sense you're your own parent. And then, okay, get up and let's get right back on board again and get back to wherever I am based on the goal I have reached. And that each time you complete one of your blocks of goals, then also celebrate yourself because we do enjoy being celebrated. It means that, okay, for this uh, day now, I'm going to allow myself one hour watching an anime or binging on two or one episode or three episodes of an whatever it is you know that you have denied yourself that binging point can be your reward. So your reward doesn't actually have to be um, you know, it could even be an ice cream. Who knows? Whatever it is that you know you will find rewarding. But reward yourself. It's also important when you are achieving those goals to cross it out. Because again it's that show that when we cross it out it actually is such a huge reinforcer because it means you have achieved and that, that helps you now to do the second step, you know, okay? So this is like an example, you know, what I'm saying that I am specific. You see, I'm putting down the week so that I'm saying week three, this is week three. I'm already making the assumption that some of those things in terms of the problems of statement and significance you don't. So with me now, I have with me going from May 24 to May 29. That becomes my week 3. You will see that part of what I've done with that, if you look at those dates, I've left Sunday 3. You know, May 30 is Sunday. So it becomes either my rest day, if I've covered everything, or my catch-up day, if I have fallen behind. You know, per se. That's of my week 3. So I'm bringing it down into those time periods. And each time period now, I'm breaking down. Because I'm not just going to give it, um, my big goal is now, I'm going to complete a long gap of my chapter one, for example. So now I break it down. Because I know for my chapter one, there's certain things I used to have gotten done. So I'm now saying that, okay, on May 24th, I will have identified five articles that I will read. Part of what purpose? Even as I read, I note the citation, but then all I'm doing now that I'm promising myself is I'm just reading. I'm just noting that. So that is my day 24 work. That's why all the other things. So that if I find that by the end of May 24, I've done only four. I couldn't finish the five. I know I'm carrying one over. That's fine. You know. Because I'll just say, okay, well done enough. But you now have six we are going to do on May 25th. I'm going to read that article also on May 26th. So you see, I'm really putting it down, and it's easy for me to now be crossing it off. It's attainable. If I know it's attainable for me, it's achievable. It's within the time frame, you know, per se, that I'm doing it. Um, and those are the things I'm looking at SMART. We are looking at that acronym of SMART. So I now have that all written out per week, you know, in terms of what I want to cover. Again, remember that you may cover everything, but you not cover everything. But you will find that you will cover much more than if you did not allow yourself to be that specific. Okay? Okay. So, big, 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 big is that thing. That's why I spend so much time on that, because it becomes very important. And because we know it drives, it motivates, it keeps you and helps you to be accountable. 
But there are other things that you have to do. That's just a huge one. Allow yourself to take the time to write it down. You'll find that by the time you also write it down, when you know when is this thing due. So you know the time span. And you have now broken it down into systems where you are not going to be overly stressed. You know, okay? So, but these other things are also very important. I talked about the fact that self-care, it is important for you right from now to also start taking care of yourself. Especially the part four students, but also the part three students, you know. Only because one of the things you don't want is to find yourself breaking down. You want your body to work for you. Therefore, you need to learn to take care of your body. The last thing you want is that near exam time or near somewhere you do. Because suddenly you are going to realize that every day is calm and is important. So you want to be tip top. What do we do in that insight? When we talk about self-care, three main important things that you don't want to compromise with. One has to do with your sleep. You sort of feel like if I don't sleep and I work, 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 it will be okay. No. Your brain needs time to be able to put in what it has read and put it in place, in proper place, so that you do need your sleep. And when you plan things out, you'll find that you actually can get away with doing all night. So sleep. Secondly, your diet. Diet just means the food you are eating. If you're not drinking coke or uh, coke and gala, and especially your common the coke gala, choose the coke gala, you know, I can sometimes coke and gala all the time. Your body isn't going to work well for you. It's going to find itself be going down. So you want to be able, even if you are just two meals a day, make it two healthy meals for yourself because you want your brain to work very well. Then, of course, physical exercise. Fortunately, because of the way our terrain is, we tend to have to do the physical exercise, but it's also good because exercise actually also helps build up. It helps build your brain, it helps with um, the way our brain functions. So that's also very good. So remember self-care. You want to avoid falling sick. Take care of yourself. Secondly, connect with your supervisor. Remember that it's your work. You are just one of all what your supervisor has to deal with. Yes, you are important, but you are still just one. So that your supervisor can easily forget about you. But you should not forget about yourself. So please connect with your supervisors and don't always wait for them to be the one to call you. Because they may not call you until week four or week five. And who is going to be very stressed? Yes, they will be stressed some. But most of the stress will still be yours. So make sure that you connect with them. You have the SMS, you have their phone number, and all of those things. Then you don't need to use just your supervisor. Use other resources too. When you're getting stuck, when you're just trying to come up with ideas. Prof already has shown you that they had a very good grasp of the research method. I don't think they'll send you back even if you are not in mass form when you want to come and ask stuff. So please use the librarian. You know, use put in the library to help you to find stuff. You know, be a new to them. Don't worry. Because there's nothing they can do up here they will listen. So put them if you know you are still looking for papers, you are still looking for relevant articles. Where else can I go? Which uh, platform can I use? So use your librarian, use the lab technologies, use other students, use other lecturers. Not just the supervisor. Yes, you have your supervisor there, but you are not tied just to your supervisor. So remember that you have to take charge and take care of that. Then, of course, procrastination. All of you know Nike, don't you? And Nike's logo is what? Just do it. You know, and that's what procrastination is. That you just need to do it. That I still have that article to read. <laughs> I when I come back, I still have a back to do. Oh, when I come back, you know, sit and do it. Just do it. When you are reading, and I've said this many times, but it always bears repeating. 
especially for some of these articles are very boring. We all know some of them are pretty boring. There's no important something about it, but you need to read it. So when you are actually also reading it, one of the things I encourage people is that I'm reading all those things, I seem like I can't to go back to line one. You know, what is it saying? And after 30 minutes, I'm still on the first paragraph because I'm not just getting it. Quit it. Don't do that. Just keep reading. So I can understand what's on page one. Don't worry. Just keep continuing. Continue reading. Because after a while, some of you unfortunately have trained your brain. The brain knows that if I think I'm not getting it, I'm not getting it, she'll get up. So that's what the brain has said. So you want to do something different for your brain. That you can say I'm not getting it, we are sitting here to finish this thing. And you'll be surprised that very soon, by the time you get to page three or page four, your brain starts cooperating with you that ah, she's not getting up. Oh, let me continue. So that's part of the things we've also learned about the brain. So don't let that stop you. Keep going with it. You know. And the last thing that I'm going to so that's procrastination. I'm saying just do it. You know, just do it. Just sit and say, hey, you better put your heart down there and start reading. Yeah, I don't care whether you get it or not. Start reading from your own parent in that instance. And then, because you are human, sometimes you are going to fall by the wayside. I'm saying, just press the reset button. Because you already have all your goals very nicely written. So that you know where I have stopped, where I have fallen off, and now I just get right back on it. You know, and then start again continuing from there. Always when you do that, have that one free day. So that one free day becomes the day for you to relax or the day for you to make up what you have um, sort of lapsed over because we are all human. Be nice to yourself also, okay? So even as you yap yourself small, also say, later you will do well with this thing because you definitely will, okay? Oh, thank you. Um, before we go on the next session, we have a program. It's not my program, it's your program. So, before we go on the next session, it's just going to be very great, don't worry. So, I want to give rooms to questions and answers. Any questions? If you don't ask questions, we then, then we keep going. It means you are enjoying it. So, questions? No questions? So, um, let me say this. Okay, if there are no questions. Dr. Bello, where is it? I'm not there. No. So, let me say this. Uh, Dr. Bello is coming up for some practical session. Just about 10 minutes. Or it's done, so just calm down. I also have another program I'm supposed to be at the Senate meet in the building there, so we are not the only one. We are all in this together. Just calm down. Calm down. Eh? In fact, you guys are enjoying it. Those of us who attend their public university, let's not talk about it. You know. So, um, Dr. Bello is coming up to we'll quickly talk to us, but I quickly want to make this some, um, some, um, uh, announcement to you. Um, tomorrow, I'm serious, we are going to have that test. Then it's not going to be paper date. It's going to be an e-test. Uh, so you are going to be giving a link, then you answer your question there. And it's going to be on the spot. So what that means is that for some of you who cannot access your whatever on your phone, and it is not something you can even copy online because they are things that you are taught today. So I'm going to be very, very nice. I'm going to share the, the, some of the teachings that we have been able to learn today. I'm going to share the video to you so some of you can decide to watch. And we are taking this seriously. So you must take it seriously too. So I'm going to give the link to your group, the group that you belong to. So you go and answer the question. The 300 level and 400 level might be different, slightly different. So just, and it, it, it means that if you are not in that group, you may not be able to have access that link immediately. So um, some people are just straining their eyes on me. It doesn't matter. No, what we are doing is the right thing. So you don't have to like it. So um, 
that's it. So uh, quickly, let's listen to uh, Dr. Velo. But before we listen, let us welcome him with what? A round of applause. How to determine a researchable topic? How to determine a researchable topic? You know, when you are talking about a researchable topic, you are talking about a concept or a construct that holds for systematic investigation. A concept or a construct that holds for investigation. Now, you as a researcher, how would you be able to do that? This is my topic. Research Your research topic must have relationship between two or more variables. Your topic must have relationship between two or more variables. Let me give you an example. When you are saying privatization in Nigeria, I mean, the other one is privatization and national development. Privatization and national development. This one is having one variable. That is privatization in Nigeria. But the second one is having two variables, which is cost effect, privatization with national development, whether it will affect the national development or not. There must be relationship of two or more variables. And that is when you will know that your topic is called research. Say that now. And that is when you will know whether your topic is called Another one is that your topic must be in a hypothetical format. Exactly. Right. Your topic must be what? In a hypothetical format. When you are talking about a hypothetical format, that this your topic must have cause effect relationship. Cause effect relationship. Let me give you an example too. Let's go back to Papadacita and Africa. Now, when you are talking about Papadacita, or let me give you another topic. Further velocity and proliferation in Northeast the Africa. Yeah. Further velocity and how proliferation in Northeast the Africa. So, now, we are not looking at the value that we are having now, the technology that we are having now, that the interethnic uh, conflict that we are having now. Can we trace it as a result of velocity of our border? Which allow the movement of arms. Take very right now. So what I don't say is that the topic must be in a political format that led you to have a closer defense relation to the military. The another one is that the topic must be value free. Your topic must be what? Value free. Don't attack any bandage in your own. Because if you if you are uh, the border velocity in the north, take that to that, and our proliferation in the north, you are tight by that side. You can, you can this topic to be not like sound where you have to do, take that to that. You can this to be what to be a sound in your life to do. Don't attack anything by that to the public. Because if you attack anything by that side, bad or good, you are out of the finding out of the reflect part of truth. Is that enough? Because your copy is just the form of just a word as hypothetical. You don't know maybe whether it will exist or no. And that is why you have to be copy. Is that enough? The another one is that how to process this copy. Know the group. Is that enough? If you check any of the group, know the group. Tell you how you are doing. That's why you must have the foundational knowledge of your topic. Is that enough? You must have the foundational knowledge of your topic. Because I want that you are going to topic. Is that enough? The rule of the design, when you have the topics, the rule of the design is saying one with the fees, why is that one with the bill? This is a major project uh, process and hand proliferation. Now, my the first of these is very, 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 very,
dependent on the fact of arm, you know, qualification. For the example, from the point of view of arbitrary, theoretical, interactive, conflict, it's not me. No body will bring for me. It's happening now. No body will bring for me. You will now look at the effect of further policies on the issue of banditry in London. The effect of further you know, velocity on the issue of kidnapping. The issue of further velocity. That is why I said, one will think why the other one will go. The reality is of the generalization. If you don't have the additional knowledge of it, you cannot do it. Is that right now? If you don't have the additional knowledge of it, you cannot. Is that right now? It also go back to the issue of privatization and national development. Privatization is not like the two. But the two are not the way it is. Is that right now? The two are not the way it is. You have to hospitalize you and one way of hospitalizing. And then you try to be able to assign the whole day. And if you have to hospitalize that, then if you are giving yourself the statement of the problem of getting for the study is the same question and the same hypothesis. If I am killing the same, the number one in your objective is the same. Number three, the number one in the same question. Number three, the number one in the same hypothesis. The number two must be the same. The number three, the most, I think, follow each other. Without that, you don't carry out the same. It's not the same. And the uh, same. The other area that we are in the to also take one time is when the people are planning to participate in analysis. At least in the result, in the opposition of the science, we have what we call the two types of statistical packing descriptive statistics and differential statistics. Descriptive is when we are using percentage, factor, factor, that one is explanation. But when you are testing hypothesis, that is where you use the pressure statistics. And the pressure statistics is divided into two. You are going to go parametric and parametric. Is that right now? And to use parametric and non-parametric, then you have to be portion of the world, of the software, right from the hypothesis. Is that right now? If your statement is saying, to test the relationship, take room. If you are testing the relationship between the that means that you are using correlation. Is that right now? Because we don't talk about using chi-2, chi-2, chi-2. In statistics, we call it chi-1 or chi-2. Tell me that right now. So that's what the function of that function. Is that right now? That's what the function of that function. If I say that it's a function of B, is that right now? That is the relation. It's a function of B. That is the But when you are comparing two independent variables, when you are comparing two independent variables, is that you do t-test or t-test? Is that you do t-test or t-test? What is the difference between t-test and that of t-test? Is the population. Is that the matter? The population for the t-test is higher than the t-test. Remember, there is no rule and no rule. Without simple and double. So that to be that to be There's no way. I'm from the number side. But I know that to be If you want to accept, you But when you are pressing two very that is analysis of work, they are a That is analysis of data, So that to be called one don't call it like one error, don't call it like two error. And in that kind of thing, you are too close to move in the other thing that the reference, take note of the reference, we are using a passage of a person. So the one I know, a passage of a person, you will see. A passage, let me give you the passage. Let me just give you an example. When you are talking about testing, if you have to pay no, tell you that the whole the first letter will be capital. If it's a privatization, P will be capital. Others will be small letter. 
Is that going on? Until you make it full stop. Now, for now the uh, location for that publication, the higher records will now put now put the quotation uh, uh, this column. Uh, uh, is that going on? Now, write the name of the publisher. Now, the topic will be in interview format. The topic will be what in interview format. And that is the sign of about it. But if it is number seven, the location of the publication will not be there again. Then you have to that is different between about six and about seven. But since we are using the uniform, we are addressing the people with about six. Go to the internet and go to the You will see everything pertaining to you. Why are you using reference? That is the way of it. Why are you using Jonah? Jonah is different. Why are you using edited books? It's also different. And why are you using all these newspapers? It's also different. So that people just come out and leave. And I can explain more better for you. Thank you for the next question. Please put your hands together for me. Put your hands together. Yes, I want to get the same book. Okay, question. Is that question? Otherwise, ask question. Those are people in. Those are the hands. Hey. What? You are getting the permission to take out. So I'm going to take attendance to the people in the Yeah, I got the instruction of the beast to do that. So it's no problem. So, question. So I'm going to share the balance of them. So you cannot see things in sky of block and you came at the two of them are out. They are not seeing them. And put out to them. Or to close the attendance. Yes, that's right. Question. Question. Why, why is it that you people don't ask questions? I don't want to be asking questions. You don't want to ask questions. You have to 
Thank you. Thank you very much. Sir. I think that is the answer. Uh, any question? Any other question? Um, tomorrow, we are going to start at exactly 10 o'clock on this new report. Because tomorrow we don't have to um, wait for some protocols. So we will start at exactly 10 o'clock. And what that means is that if you are not we are not the, we are not assumed to have uh, been present for the uh, program tomorrow. So, and, and it's not good to recognize uh, anybody. Okay, um, those of you sleeping, you know, I don't know, I don't know what it means. You know, in church, when I church, when people go up, and they are far, far into this thing, they don't start to do Okay, so before you leave, instead of writing the new name, call up on Okay, so uh, to make things faster, I said the maximum to write names again. Uh, we are just going to prospect the name again. Make sure you prospect the name before you have a mark for having attended to the end. This instruction is from the vice chancellor, you know, and it's not wrong. I just sent an errand and I have to uh, uh, feel what I am sent to do. I have to do what I have to do. All right, so um, if there are no questions, uh, tomorrow the program continues, but it's going to be more reports tomorrow. We are going to have more speakers. The person from Canada is speaking to us tomorrow. We are going to have um, many of our speakers who not make it work. We are going to make sure that it's not um, so compact so that we can have some breathing space. And I want to prepare a question. I am serious. Your questions are ready. You know? And we do it. So if you have a laptop, you want to bring your laptop to the internet, bring it. If it's your phone, you bring it. Uh, what we want to do cannot take more than maximum 10 and give at all if you take up to that for you to do. And you will do it within 10 minutes. And that's the assessment. And in the form of feedback too. Right. So if there are no questions, I would advise you to confirm. Maybe don't make it round. Maybe you go line by line. Um, yes, you go line by line, please. You are you are my choice. So go line by line, like this line, go like that. I don't have to coordinate you should be able to go by your own appearance. So tomorrow we'll be by grace of God and then God bless you.